Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with a quick guide on how I have my inscription set up through TSM to craft and sell my glyphs. So what I've done for this is I've opened, uh, there's a few ways you can do it. I'm just going to go over how I do it. Uh, there's lots of different ways that this can be done. Um, basically, I opened my crafting for my inscription. I went to TSM groups and I clicked on create profession groups. What this will do is under groups, once you open TSM, it creates a profession group, an inscription group, and two subgroups below that called crafts and materials. Basically the crafts has everything that I can craft using inscription listed in here. And the materials are just that, all the materials used to craft those items. So from here, you need to create some operations. Um, actually, let's get some items into the group first. So I have crafts. I want to make a subgroup below it just for my glyphs. And I just named it glyphs just for that. Uh, once you make your subgroup, you go to items. And what I did is a filtered search. I type in glyph, hit enter, and then I can click add to bring them all over. Now I don't have all the glyph recipes on this tune. I normally craft my glyphs from another tune, uh, but this is just for this video to show you guys. So now that I have my glyphs in the group, I need some auctioning operations and crafting operations so I can craft these items as well as sell them. For that, you want to go to module operations. Let's make an auctioning operation first. Uh, you click on operations and I like to use a name that I know that that's what it's for but you can actually use operations for multiple groups so you can set uh, a name that works for you I like to just use glyphs and I want to match the stack size what this means is if somebody posts like a stack of two or three glyphs for cheaper I don't want to undercut them I only want to undercut the singles so I like to match the stack size From there you go to post I post my glyphs at 12 hours, but I've done 12, 24, and 48. They all work. Uh, it's just whatever you want to do. My current post cap is set at 2. If you're just starting out, you may want to try 1. Um, just because you may not have a lot of stock. Stack size, I only want to post them in stacks of 1, so I leave that at 1. Bid percent. I like to take an 85% bid on my glyphs. There's, it's a highly competitive market. There's a lot of undercutting that goes on in the glyph market. Um, I like mine to show up first if people are doing a standard WoW search, WoW Blizzard interface auction search. If you have a lower bid, it's it actually sorts by lowest bid. So I like to keep mine lower, and then if I get undercut, there's still a chance that mine will show up first if somebody's using that uh, search method. My undercut amount I use is two silver instead of one copper. That's so that if somebody's doing a post scan at the same time I am, hopefully I'll still come out ahead as being the cheapest one on the auction house. Minimum price. I like to use 110% of crafting for my glyphs. Uh, so this will only work if you know all of the glyph recipes that you have in, in your group. If you have bought out glyphs from the auction house that you don't know the recipes for to do a reset scan, uh, you may have to change this price to a fixed price or something else. Um, if you click on this, it, there's actually a list here of different things that you can put in, as well as a link to a site that gives you some more information for post settings. My normal price on my glyphs, I set at 700 gold. It seems high, but I've actually sold a lot of glyphs for that price. Uh, so I don't mind if nobody else is posting the glyphs, I like to post them at 700 gold. And the maximum price I use currently is 1,050 gold. And then I don't like to post this item um, if it's below my minimum. So I keep them in my bags. So that's it for an auctioning operation. It's all set up now. Now we need a crafting operation. So go to crafting, operations, and I, I need mine glyphs again. Um, minimum restock quantity. So if I sell one, it tells me to craft one. So I leave that at one. My current restock quantity is eight. Um, that allows me to buy out some glyphs off the auction house and still have uh, one stack or less, preferably. 
Uh, if you're just starting out, you may want to do one or two because it does require a lot of ink to craft all the glyphs. The minimum price that I use on my glyphs currently is five gold. A five gold minimum profit, I want to stay highly competitive in this market. Sometimes glyphs sell cheap, sometimes they sell for more expensive. I want to be able to sell all of them. So that's it for the crafting operation. It's a very simple one. Now you go back to your groups, find your glyphs group, and you want to override the operations and apply those operations. So for my auctioning operation, I turn that one on, then I go to crafting and I do the same my crafting operation. Once that's set up, I'm basically ready to queue up, but I've gone a step further. For my inks, I use M MOP inks only, and I trade in um, at the ink vendor for the other inks. So I use Ink of Dreams to craft all of my glyphs by trading in. Now where I buy my herbs on my server for 25 gold a stack, I know that I get 5 Ink of Dreams, roughly, and 1 Starlight Ink per stack of uh, herbs. So I've actually gone into crafting, and then the materials, and I've changed the prices of my inks manually. I've set the price, so if you search ink, you can go through your inks and change the price like if this is default, it says my ink cost me 6 gold 89. I know that it actually cost me 5 gold and my ink of dreams covers the price of a stack of herbs completely for me. Meaning my starlight ink is actually free. So I've gone through and I've changed all my uh, common inks to 5 gold. Except for the engineer's ink, that doesn't count. But all of the inks I use in inscription for glyphs, I've changed to 5 gold. And my Starlight Ink, even though it doesn't cost me anything, I don't want to give it away. So currently I'm using 35 gold, but I can adjust this as I need it. So that's it for the setup, I think, for the most part. I've edited my ink values to reflect uh, what my mine actually cost me. You can leave that at default. It will work. Uh, in some cases, it's cheaper to actually buy the lower level herbs, uh, mill them and get all of these other inks that method. Uh, for me, it's more of a convenience thing. I like to do all MOP herbs. I bark in trade chat to buy MOP herbs at my said price. And uh, that's how I do it. Like I said, there's multiple ways you can do this. I'm not saying this is the, the right way or the only way, but this way it does work for me. So once that's all set up, we can now queue up our glyphs. By opening your inscription, if this tab isn't shown, it just means that it's hidden. You can hit show queue. And uh, you want to make sure that if you haven't already scanned the auction host, you need to scan the auction host to get some values um, for what glyphs are selling for, as well as maybe your mats, so that it knows uh, the actual crafting costs so that it can queue up for you. Um, so once you've scanned the auction house, you can go to TSM groups. Uh, the groups are automatically selected and you can check restock selected groups. And from there, it tells me all the glyphs that I need to craft that I've sold on this tune recently that are at a minimum a five gold profit and it sorts it. So if it's green, it means I have the mats in my bags to make these glyphs. If it's red, it means that I need to get, uh, get some more mats. Well, if it's like this orange color, it means I have some. And if it's dark red like this, it means that, no, you don't have any mats at all. So after that's done, I can now craft these items if I wanted to. I'm not actually going to from this tune. And then I can go to the auction house and post them for sale. And I think I've covered everything there with that. There is some other things that I craft with inscription, which I'll go over in another video. I just wanted to... Uh, make a quick one on how I have it set up for glyphs. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you uh, have any questions, drop by my stream and ask anytime. I will link it down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be coming out with more guides soon.